Hi, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hello everyone, long time no see. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I personally believe is very, very exciting. Mark your calendars right now for June 6th. Now that is only four days away from right now. And you're probably asking yourselves right now, but Roxy, why would I mark my calendars for such a random day? Well, there are two reasons. At 8 p.m. UK time or 3 p.m. Eastern, the PC Gamer Show is happening. Now, I'm excited for this for a multitude of reasons. Number one, Mafia Definitive Edition is going to have gameplay shown. And you bet I'm going to be making a video on it. I'm going to be making a video on the gameplay that we do get. I'm hoping we get enough to be able to maybe even make a comparison video with the original game. I think that would be pretty bloody awesome. Over this last month, I've really fallen in love with the original Mafia, as you guys have seen on the channel. And when 2K reached out to me to cover both Mafia 2 and Mafia 1 Definitive Edition, I said yes, because I was incredibly excited. So yes, for those asking, I will be covering this. You cannot believe how excited I am to get my hands on the Mafia 1 remake. Now, at this show, there is going to be a lot of stuff announced and shown off. I'm pretty sure that the new DLC for Outward is also being shown, which is pretty bloody cool. We did a video on that game when that released and I really enjoyed it. I'll put a little card up there so you can go and see it. I think it's a pretty bloody good game. But of course, there's one game that I'm incredibly excited for. I know a lot of you are looking forward to a certain sequel of a certain game that starts with Kingdom Come. I personally believe that Kingdom Come Deliverance is going to get its sequel announced at either this show or the Future Games show that takes place straight afterwards. Now looking at this new Future Games show, this will be an hour long show that takes place straight after the PC gaming show. All of these things are going to be streamed on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, as well as Games Radar. But they say the showcase promises to include over 30 new games with content from publishers and studios such as Square Enix, Team 17, Tiny Build, Deep Silver, Merge Games, Curve Digital, Red Thread Games, Walkabout Games, Raw Fury, High Red Studios, Team Kill Media, and Devolver Digital. Now, of course, I'm very excited for all of those, but the one that pops out to me here is obviously Deep Silver. Now, I will say I do think it would be announced if it's going to be announced at the PC Gamer Show. It would make sense. Kingdom Come Deliverance on PC is amazing. Now, of course, it's not exclusive to PC, but I will say PC is the best place to play Kingdom Come Deliverance. And with the modding tools they released last year, I'm hoping that the next Kingdom Come is going to have modding tools from the very start. We've been talking about a Kingdom Come sequel for a long time. And the evidence towards it has been building up and building up. I'm going to be leaving a couple of links in the description below if you want to go back and see that evidence. I don't want to be regurgitating information because you guys have already heard it. But I'm pretty damn sure that there's going to be something. And the PC Gamer Show slash Future Games Show straight afterwards will probably be the place to do it. Another game I'm excited for, thinking about it, is Kingdoms of Amalur. THQ Nordic purchased it, I think back in 2018 we covered that, and I really love that game. And they wouldn't have purchased it if they weren't going to do anything with it. So I really do believe they are working on some form of remaster or at least a sequel, but that's just a guess. So that's why I say you should be noting down June 6th. I know nothing, I haven't been given any information. I just know that there's definitely going to be gameplay of Mafia, and I'm pretty sure something has to happen with Warhorse Studios. Now, let's say nothing happens. What does that mean? Well, it means that nothing's happening and they've been telling us the truth the entire time. We've been told by Warhorse as well as a certain Sir Toby that nothing is in development over at Warhorse Studios. Now, personally, I think they're just pulling our leg. That's slightly ridiculous, seeing as they have so many people working over there, as well as hiring new people who have certain skills in medieval architecture. I really don't believe nothing is happening over there. But let's say that is the case. 
And I will be honest, I will be incredibly disappointed. You hear that, Warhorse? I will be disappointed in you. That's worse than being angry at you. <laughs> Kingdom Come Deliverance is one of the most underrated RPGs ever made. And I'm safe in saying that. It sold well. It sold very well. But from the off, games media threw it under the bus and barely talked about it. And I'm safe in saying that I was angry that Jeff Keighley didn't promote the game more with the Game of the Year awards in 2018. That game should have won something for its soundtrack. It's one of the best soundtracks in a video game, but Kingdom Come Deliverance was completely ignored. And that's why I believe Warhorse needs to do something. They've got a fantastic series here if they push for it. Continuing that story of Henry of Scalitz and his journey across Bohemia to get back his bloody sword. So Warhorse, if you're listening to this, we believe in you. We want a continuation, and I'm hoping that that's on June 6th. Anyway, that's my thoughts on this. I really recommend putting this down in your calendar. Watch both of these, even if Kingdom Come, let's say, doesn't get announced. There are going to be games in here that will be talked about and seen that are going to hopefully be amazing, as well as, of course, Mafia gameplay. I'm incredibly excited about that. For those of you who subscribed to the channel for Kingdom Come Deliverance content, it's not going anywhere, believe me. I'm in talks with uh, a few of my YouTube friends, and we're currently making a video of what we want to see in a Kingdom Come Deliverance sequel. But that should be out, hopefully, in the next week, week and a half. For all of you that did subscribe for Kingdom Come Deliverance, I'm incredibly grateful. And I want you to know that I appreciate your support. Obviously, over this last week, um, I've opened up the channel to more varied games. I want to go in this new direction. I want to gain this new ground. Because as I said to a person who recently commented about it, um, it's been a breath of fresh air for me to cover something other than Kingdom Come Deliverance. As a creator, I was feeling closed in, covering just Kingdom Come Deliverance. Even though I adore the game, and I think you can tell that from these videos, I'm being completely honest when I say that it is one of my favourite games, and I absolutely adore it. But my creativity can only go so far with one game. So that's why we've currently got Mafia going, we've got the Fallout series. I recently played The Godfather yesterday, a fantastic game. If you've never played The Godfather movie tie-in, it's one of the best games I've ever played. Highly recommend watching that video. But anyway, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I want to return, by the way, to Biscuit Town soon, because I hear that Barbara's been an absolute nightmare, and Tom Selleck now owns the town. I don't know what the bloody hell's going on. Also, Archibald's gone missing. I just have to look out for his shiny helmet. Anyway, I love each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.